Hey guys, Nisi here, back with another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys how I apply my stickles, glitter glue, Wink of Stella, so forth to a coloring page. And we may do a little background work, I'm not quite sure. We'll just get into it and see what happens, okay? <laughs> All right. So first of all, I would like to share with you guys a teeny weeny tiny tiny haul. I went to my local Office Depot today and they had a few things on clearance. You know, the Dollar Diva has to get her clearance stuff, guys. Okay, let's start out with this. It's pencil grips and there are a few in there that are triangular and there are some in there that are glitter and rubbery and sparkly and they were 50 cents and it's so, 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 so cute. So I got this. Also got this on Clarence. It was a dollar for 27 pencils, neon mechanical pencils. So there are some green, yellow, orange, purple, pink, and blue in here. So I got these. So I thought that was cool to get these for a buck for 24. And last but not least, I got these two things. Now I know you're probably looking at that like, what? She got a cup? Guys, I thought this was a cup at first. But then I looked at it really good and it's a actually like a storage system for your pencils and pens and art supplies. And right here at the top is a pencil sharpener. You unscrew it. And in there is like styrofoam at the bottom so you can like put your pencils face down and they'll be protected then this is a pencil sharpener and down here is a secret compartment so you can put different little things down here and that's going to catch all your little shavings and everything in the pencil sharpener and it's just so cute so i have two i have one pink and one blue with some kitty cats on it. And these were only $2. It's so cute, guys. Oh my goodness. So, yes, got this. And I'm in love with it. So, that's what we got from Office Depot today. So, guys, this is what we're going to be working in today. I finally finished. My picture in the lost ocean. And we're going to be adding some stickles and glitter glue to a couple of the things in this picture. I may wait and do the background for another video. We'll just work on, you know, stickles and glitter glue for, for this particular one. Because I have a lot of stuff I want to try out with you guys. I have my new... Um, Prismacolor, new pastel color sticks and all that good stuff. So we'll just stick with the glitter glue and, and so forth for right now. Okay. And I also want to try out like um, the Posca, not Posca pen, my Sharpie uh, paint pen. I want to try that in a few of my books. So we're all of that is going to be in videos to come. So just look forward to that. Okay, so. First and foremost, let's get out the glues, guys. Okay, so as you know, as you've seen in my haul video, I have three stickles, actual stickle, the brand stickles, glitter glues. Okay, I have those three. So we're gonna use those for a little something or another. Then I have the um, Wink of Stella. So we're going to probably try out the gold and I might try the silver out. I don't know yet. I also have white. So we'll just put those two out. We may try those. I also have the dollar store glitter glue. And the Elmer's glitter glue. And I have a couple of glitter glues that I haven't opened yet. I haven't opened 
the Crayola. So I may open the Crayola today and the Crazy Art. I think I will, I'll do that. I'm gonna open that today. Cause I have these two, I have the Crayola and the Crazy Art. So we may not try both of these today. I don't know what we're doing guys. We're just gonna figure things out as we go, okay? And then of course I have, I have a dollar store glitter glue, this huge one and a Walmart glitter glue. So I don't really wanna test out a lot of things. You know what, that will be another video. We will test out different glitter glues um, against the actual brand of Stickles. But you guys know that Stickles is an awesome, awesome, awesome brand. <laughs> It's probably the best glitter glue out there. It's probably the Fiber Costell of, of glues. <laughs> if Fiber Costell came out with a glue, then you better believe it's gonna be like awesome, I guess, so. Okay guys, yes. So let's get into this. Let's do this. So what I plan to do is add glitter glue to the seahorses and maybe this right here, whatever this is. <laughs> And I'm going to use the gold wink of Stella. Never opened it, so I'm gonna open it. I just try it out. Shake it up, guys. We're gonna open this for the first time. Take this how you open your wink of Stella. Take the little black thing out, and then there you go, and screw it back together. And I guess that's as far as it's going to screw. I guess shake it up a little bit. Okay, so first we're going to try this because I've never tried this before. So we're gonna try this. And so we're gonna squeeze until I see a little bit coming out into the barrel. Is anything coming out? Oh, there it is, I see it now. Now, Wink of Stella, like the difference between Wink of Stella and Stickles Glitter Glue is Wink of Stella only gives you like a very slight shine. It's not really, you know what, let me, okay. I don't wanna mess my page up, there we go. It's a very light shine. It's not a whole lot of, of shine. It's a very light glitter. So I just kind of want this to, oh yeah, I'm liking that. I just want this to look like it's gold, like metal. So, oh yeah, I'm liking that. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of this to the star in the middle. Okay. All right, guys, can you see that? Let's see if I can oh, see if I can get a little bit of oh, no, that's let's see if you can see the glitter. There's a little bit. You can see a little bit there. Oh, well. All right, let's add a little bit to the star here. I may need to add some to this whole star because I'm liking the glitter on this Wink of Stella. Now the purpose of glitter glue and Wink of Stella, you don't want to glitter your whole page up, okay? You just want accents. The purpose of, I think I wanna go in here with these two with the little glitter. The 
purpose of the glitter and the wink of Stella is just to give accents to your page. Not to have a page full of bling. Although if that's what you're going for, because I have done that before. <laughs> on one of my pictures I showed, I think I have a post on, on Facebook. But it's on my finished pictures, but it was just glittered up. So that's what I was going for. So if that's what you're going for, then yes. But if you just want to keep the integrity for the most part of your picture, then you would definitely just want to make little accents. Okay. And we're going to make sure you guys can see this at the end. But let's go ahead. I think, which one do I want to use? Stardust or Crystal for my purple? I think I want to use, they look the same. Hmm. Well, let's just see. I'll use Stardust for Mr. Seahorse over here. So let me zoom in for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Okay. All right, so let's add, where should I add this? I'm gonna add it to his fin back here. And I have a very light hand. And glitter fixes everything, guys, okay? Glitter and acrylic paint. If you mess something up and you don't quite like the way it's looking, add some glitter to it. Glitter makes everything look better. <laughs> All right, so I've glittered his fins. Now let's glitter this bottom part of his tail. And I want to glitter his eye and his little mohawk thingy up here. And have a very light hand with your glitter. And I wanna glitter his little, whatever this is right here and under his eye. There we go. And I think I want to glitter all of his little, these little squares in his little body. Okay, is that it? I think so. Okay. All right. So let's see if you guys can see. what we have going on with Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, you can see that shine. All right. So let's work on this lighter seahorse over here. And we're gonna use crystal for him or her. I think she's gonna be a her. Yeah, for her. <laughs> so we're gonna do her eye. And all of the places that we worked on over on her male counterpart. Yes, men can be glittery too. Ooh, I see the difference, I think, in these two crystal and stardust. I think I see the difference. Crystal is a little like pastel looking. And let's get her tail. And let's do all of her little blockies. Her little blocks in her body. Okay. 
All right, I think she is done. Okay. Okay, guys, you see that? And you see him? All right. Now, I don't think you can really see the wink of Stella in the star. So now we're going to do the bubbles in the silver. No, I don't want the silver. Let's get the stardust back again, and we're going to do the bubbles. Do all of the bubbles. Just put dots everywhere on the little bubbles. So the bubbles can bling. The only thing about using stickles and glitter glue is you have to make sure they dry. So you can't do a whole lot. Like right now, I would not even attempt to do any type of backgrounds or anything. Because this is going to have to dry. And I don't want to smear the glue. I don't want it to get everywhere. And let me zoom you guys out. We're doing all of the bubbles. And that's it. Can you guys see the glitter? Let's see if I can give you a little more light. Oh, now you can see the glitter wink of Stella, the little diamond, not diamond, on the fish, the starfish. You can see it now. All right, guys, so that's how I apply my glitter glue and my wink of Stella and my stickles to my coloring page. So that's it, guys. This is the finished product. Uh oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm shaking the camera. So that's my coloring page, guys. So on the next video, we are going to work on the background. Okay, that's it. Bye.